Hi, my name is Dan Jordan, and as Director of Music at Eastbourne College, I am delighted to welcome you to this year's incredible Live Lounge. We are, of course, as normal, raising money for St Wilfrid's Hospice, so do please click on the Just Giving link and donate as generously as you can. Without further ado, please sit back, grab some refreshments, and I'll leave you in the capable hands of Tom Williams. Evening everybody, welcome to the Live Lounge 2021 concert film. My name's Tom Williams and I run the songwriting workshop at Eastbourne College. We meet on a Tuesday evening every week and the college's best songwriters share their latest creations. The Live Lounge is an amazing concert that happens once a year, but unlike a normal songwriting concert where you might have a solo performer or a duo, this gives uh, songwriters the chance to be backed by an all-star band. And the all-star band this year was James Grout on the drums, uh, Liv Jairaj on the bass, Mr. Lavrak on the piano, and me on acoustic guitar. And then the students uh, were singing and um, often playing the guitar as well. Normally this happens in the JWA with a, uh, a lovely and receptive audience, but this year it was filmed um, due to COVID restrictions in the JWA on a Tuesday afternoon in November 2020. And um, the videos have come out really, really well. And the students should all be so proud of their performances, their songs and their covers. Um, it's a real treat and it's really exciting to share this all with you. First up, we have the amazing Ella Parker. So Ella, tell us about the two songs you're gonna play. I'm gonna play an original called Half Past Nine and then The Scientist by Coldplay. So Ella, your song Half Past Nine is the first song of the night and it's the first song on the album as well. When did you write this? Um, I wrote this in the summer, I think. And can you remember anything in particular that inspired it or even what kind of music you were listening to? I know you're a big fan of Paris Styles. <laughs> so I, I probably, around that time, I was listening to a lot of Counting Crows and I remember listening to like Mr Jones and Round Here and the guy who writes it, I don't know what his name is, but he's really good at storytelling and like just taking you through just actions and whatever. So I wanted to do that. And so that was kind of why I wanted to write the song and that's the feel of it, I think, hopefully. What's the point of playing 
Okay, so next up we have James Grout, who is the incredible drummer that played in Live Lounge 2021. How would you describe it this year? Because we there was GoPros around you and cameramen running all over the place. How was it different? Mm, yeah, I'm not used to... I was never really, really used to being filmed as much from as many different angles before. Uh, <laughs> having a drum cam was really entertaining, I thought. Uh, but it was really fun and it was a new experience, so it's always beneficial. Um, is it Kitman or Quitman? Tom, how long have you known me? I rarely say your surname, in fairness. Quitman. 
quit. We okay. don't quit though. Okay. okay. Next up we have Ello Quitman. Ello, tell us about the two songs that you're going to play. Okay, so my original is called Walking Talking Godsend and it is about someone who came into my life and made it a whole lot better um, and it's really cringy but it's kind of a um, just an upbeat fun song which I felt that was needed around this time and then my cover is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac Stevie Nicks being one of my biggest inspirations singer wise and Dreams has been always always been one of my favorite Fleetwood Mac songs so I thought I'd do my own version. Great, let's watch it.
Next up, we have Liv, who not only played bass in the band all day, but also recorded two brilliant songs. Liv, tell us what you're going to play tonight. Um, I'm going to play Wasn't Meant To Be, which is original by me. And then You're So Vain by Carly Simon, which is one of my favourite songs. OK, Liv, so tell us about your song Wasn't Meant To Be. When did you write that one? So I wrote Wasn't Meant To Be in during lockdown, probably about maybe in the like April time. So maybe like a month into lockdown. Um, mainly because, I mean, it was really interesting because when we released the lockdown album, all our lockdown songs, bar a couple, were like super depressing. But it's kind of true, like you got into lockdown, you got into quite a negative mindset, I think a lot of people did. But, and that's okay, like everybody's allowed to have that moment where they're, you know, really not enjoying it. But I think it really hit me seeing on the news just how much lockdown was affecting those who are less fortunate than a lot of us. And... Yeah, and I just kind of wrote a song about it in the sense that 
it's okay to not feel okay, but then you've always got to think as well that you're in a better position than another person. And actually that maybe it grounds you. Like, I think it grounds you into thinking, no, things will get better. But also, I think it inspires maybe not the right word, but help me think, yeah, actually, I want to help other people as well, you know, get through lockdown and things like that. So, yeah. Bad where she could 
Okay, so next up we have Ed Gent. Ed, what are you going to play? Hi, uh, I'm going to play a song that I wrote called Matchstick. So, Ed, tell us about your song Matchstick. What inspired you to write that one? Um, so, I think Matchstick is primarily a song which revolves around the fact that it's okay not to be okay, and that it's nothing out, 
out of the ordinary to have good and bad days. Spell of patterns impossible to miss. A mix of regret and fear, and time to reminisce. Questions and answers, the only ones I need to hear. I only know what I know, won't let them disappear. It's just like stars in the sky and sparks to a flame. Or water that's running past When I'm asked about my thoughts No two are the same Treat all like that the last We're all a little broken That's okay, it's just a mind in us And all the while we're all a little broken That's okay, it's just a mind in us and all the while, a matchstick, it lights a fire My true thought of you, my true desire Thoughts become dreams as we enter the nightfall in a world of our own, but I'll never own it all. Exquisitely, casually, or inexpressible. The myriad of traits, so I can't define them all. And just like stars in the sky, and sparks to a flame, or water that's running. That one starts in hopes and dreams Of regret and fear and times to reminisce And just like stars in the sky And sparks to a flame Or water that's running past When I'm asked about my thoughts No two are the same Treat all like that Next up we have Sav. Sav, tell us about what you're going to sing. I am going to be singing the original called Reminiscing Now and a cover called Ain't Nobody. Okay, so Sav, your first song, your original Reminiscing Now, I think is the best thing you've ever done. Tell us about that song and uh, when you wrote it. 
I wrote this actually coming back to school um, after having that long lockdown period where everything was very hit or miss whether we were actually going back to school or not. Um, and it was sort of a song that I wrote that was inspired by um, sort of wanting to stay at home, not really going back to normality kind of vibe. Thank you. 
gone half past eight Yeah, my curtains are still drawn Watch me stumble out of bed Give me five, then I'm out the door I think I need to have a break I think I need a change Or see everything seems like a chore I can't take this anymore Next up we have Willow. Willow, tell us what you're gonna play. I'm gonna play an original called Say Something. So Willow, tell us about Say Something. When did you write this one? So I wrote this in November, um, just after my birthday. Nice, and what can you remember what inspired it at the time? Um, so my cousin had just gone to secondary school and um, he got in his first fight and it was just about my feelings and how I was worrying about him. Um, but knowing that it's actually kind of not a big deal. Were you willing to like jump in and like and, and defend his honour? Oh yeah, definitely would have.
Next up, we have Mimi Gould. Mimi, tell us what you're going to play next. Um, I'm going to play a song called Call Me, um, which I wrote about three months ago, I think. Yeah. And can you think about what inspired it at the time? What you were listening to or what you were thinking about? I think it was just um, lots of thoughts about lo how lockdown changed me and obviously a lot of people as well and how kind of becoming a different person from it afterwards. Well, look, you're the, you were the first one on the day, I think, to record, which is amazing. And um, it's the final song we're going to hear tonight because I just think it's such a perfect sort of gentle way of, of ending the concert. It sounds so fantastic. The song's amazing. Your, your voice sounds amazing. Let's have a listen to this. This is the final song of the night by Mimi Gould, and it's called Call Me. Competition where some for the unfortunate has to win. Guide me to make a switch out of this state of mind where I can't even take my time. But do So I can help to 
Thank you everyone for watching. That was the Live Lounge 2021, like you've never seen it before. Um, filmed and beamed directly into your uh, living rooms in beautiful HD. Thank you so much for watching. I have some big thank yous. First of all, Mr. Joe Walsh, who recorded and mixed the audio beautifully. Um, amazing. Michael for filming everything from uh, a million different angles and making it all look fantastic. Um, we're all so proud of this production um, and, and you know, putting together such a professional looking product. It's really amazing. Um, massive thank you to the songwriters, of course, and the amazing band, Mr. Tim Laverack on the piano, Mr. James Grout on the drums and Liv Jairaj on the bass. Um, they really went through it that day. This is an afternoon's work for that band, 11 songs in six hours, um, not just learning them and being able to get to the end, but actually getting full takes um, that sound as good as they do is amazing. As always, we're raising money for St. Wilfrid's Hospice, who provide end-of-life care locally to the school. Um, all proceeds from streaming the album and listening to the album um, will go to St. Wilfrid's. You can donate to them directly as well, or you can donate to them via the school, um, and we'll pass the donations on as quickly as we can. Um, but please do keep sharing the stream. Please keep sharing this concert video. Um, send it to family members, friends, anybody who's into songwriting or you think would enjoy the music. Um, it all helps. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching and spending this evening with us. Um, we hope you stay safe and healthy and we'll hopefully be back on a real stage soon in front of uh, thousands of adoring music lovers. Um, but thank you so much, everybody, and we'll see you soon. See you later.